What's up guys, it's been forever. It's uh, day 60, I don't even know what day it is, 65, 66 of lockdown. But today we finally moved down to level three. So at least we can go back to work. We can do a few things. I hope everyone's keeping safe, keeping their distance and uh, staying as healthy as they can and trying to get some exercise in. But there's a question that I've been getting asked a lot and it seems to be on every single video now lately that when I've been going through my comments. And that is how long did it take me to recover and have I had surgery? So I have not had surgery. Uh, I was meant to have surgery. The doctor I went to, I first went to an orthopedic surgeon and he recommended that I go to a vascular surgeon because my arm was blue and there wasn't a pulse. So I went to the vascular surgeon. The vascular surgeon wanted me to have an angiogram to check my compression and check the blood flow in my arm. And then when he checked my pulse in my arm, he couldn't find it. So he was quite worried about that. In the next breath, he also told me that the patient the day before almost died on the table during an angiogram because they ruptured the artery. So <laughs> that didn't put my mind at ease. It made me feel frantic. And I, I said to myself, I'm not doing the angiogram and I'm not having surgery because I've seen lots of people that have had surgery and they've had success. But there's also been a lot of people that have had multiple surgeries because the scar tissue just causes the compression again or there's another problem or they need a pec minor release so i haven't had any surgery and for those that see the scar on this arm that's from my motorbike accident when i broke my ac joint so there's a pin in there my tos was on my left hand side because there's a lot of people that say oh you haven't had surgery but you've got this massive scar on your shoulder it's totally different to tos i've got no problems with the shoulder second thing is how long did it take me uh, so my first video when I just started like on my road to recovery trying everything was when the doctor said that I need surgery. From there I was working on myself and I was trying different techniques and I started studying biomechanics and uh, exercise science. Started to learn how the body moves and, and where the compression takes place and what things can be done to minimize the compression and get more movement in the joint. So the first thing I did there's a number of things that I did and every single video I've got on my, my channel here, you can go through and you can see my whole journey of what I've done to recover. But step one is deep tissue massage, where they break down that adhesion and that sticky muscle because the muscle, the longer it's in a position, so say you keep your arm down because you're compression, you don't want to lift it. If your arm is constantly like this, if you've ever broken your arm and it comes out of a cast, you, you can't move that arm. So in the same way, if you're not using that muscle to lift and rotate your shoulder blade, the muscle becomes stuck and it forms adhesions in the muscle where when you actually start stretching it, it becomes a mission and, the, and it triggers a flare up and it becomes tight and stiffer. So what you want to do is get that deep tissue massage, go to a therapist that can actually do proper deep tissue massage. They can loosen up your pec minor, they can loosen up your scapula, loosen up all the joints where your pec minor attaches to your arm, your biceps, your triceps, everything in that area, especially your QL because everything attaches and uh, your body's a kinetic chain. So the QL gets tight, your hamstring gets tight. And when those two are tight, you'll feel that your shoulder flares up because everything is pulling down. I've said this in multiple videos, but uh, I'm just refreshing everyone's memory. Um, just to keep your whole body as supple as you can because it's no no use just working on your shoulder area and it doesn't seem to be getting you any further any progress you're still struggling you've got to loosen up all the muscles and make sure that all the muscles are loose and even if you can't massage the shoulder area because of the tightness and the flare up you can massage everything around that area and eventually it loosens that up so step one deep tissue massage step two trigger point therapy which you can do at home now trigger point therapy is just a term that a lot of people don't understand what trigger point therapy is and they think it's just something that they must go to a therapist for and do trigger point therapy is that trigger point muscle so if you've got a tight muscle say your bicep is sore and you push at a certain spot and it's very tender and very sore that's a trigger point so that's where all the referred pain is in that tight muscle is is more fed up right there in that spot that's why it's a trigger point because that trigger is right there so i'm not saying specifically it's right there it's wherever you feel so say your bicep is sore and you feel around it could be anywhere along the two heads of the bicep and you might find a tender spot and when you push it your arm starts twitching because now you've hit a nerve and there's a trapped nerve and you're loosening it up so the same thing with your shoulder and your scapula if you put a ball behind you 
and you lay on the floor or roll on the floor with the ball behind your shoulder blade or on your rhomboid muscles or traps and you move your arm around and roll you'll feel there's certain areas that are really really sensitive and really tight and the more you're rolling on them the looser they get and the better you feel you get blood flow in the area so a combination of the deep tissue the trigger point therapy as often as you can and where you can to loosen up those muscles I still do that to this day uh, I overtrained the other day my muscles were really tight and I just lay on the floor rolled on the ball loosened up my lower back and my hamstrings and you feel good the next day so in the beginning it's like a roller coaster ride you'll do it one day and you'll feel extremely sore and stiff the next day so you got to balance it out and just go according to how your body feels if it's too much then take a day off then stretch instead of doing trigger point therapy because you have to stretch as well stretch all those muscles you have to lengthen your scalene muscles um, just to take that pressure off that top rib certain things like that so deep tissue trigger point therapy stretching are the three most important things and the three things that really help me recover and feel a lot better I mean I'm back to boxing I'm back to training I can lift weights I'm curling 22 kilograms I'm list lifting them above my head so it's not like I'm limited to the resistance band where I was so resistance band training is great in the beginning because it's light and it just gets those stabilizer muscles going um, avoid all weight training in the beginning don't even attempt to lift weights because that's what I did and I set myself back another year so stay away from weights if you're really bad but what I'm saying is I've got to that point where I can lift the weights now because of all those steps that I took in the beginning so just do that follow those steps deep tissue if you can I was doing that at least once a week and every week I slowly got a little bit better a little bit better and doing the trigger point therapy in between it really helped acupuncture can help some some people don't it doesn't help but uh, it really did help me it helped loosen those muscles when the needles were in me it was twitching everywhere and I had better blood flow and better movement um, doesn't last long in the beginning but the more you do it the more you're doing all those other things it gets better and better and better so yeah it's just a, it's a process but you can avoid surgery in certain cases uh, my arm was completely blue and numb and it was a risk I took but I'm glad I didn't have surgery because now I'm fine I'm actually stronger now than I was before my TOS and my bad flare-ups I can lift heavy I can box again I don't get those tight spasms I don't drop things like I used to before TOS happened and my bad flare-ups before I knew I had TOS I used to drop things I wasn't as strong and using boxing centers I've actually gotten stronger I'm throwing 10 G's harder than I was before my TOS so there is definitely strength that's come back because the muscles not trapped and not tight and the nerves are not compressed I obviously had a weakness there for a long time I didn't realize and now that I loosen up those problem areas I'm stronger and feeling better so we all have those problem areas due to daily life and rounded shoulders and looking down at your phone but you only really take notice when you have something like TOS or frozen shoulder and you are really having pain the whole day so follow those simple steps so it's not simple but it's better than the surgery and rehab and if you can avoid those things then these are the steps to follow and just listen to your body if the physio is telling you to do something and it's really making your flare up worse don't do it try another physio or try to do different things and uh, just learn how the body works so that you can find out exactly what works for you because everybody's different I've helped so many people live normal lives again that they can actually do things with their TOS arm and they're feeling better on a daily basis and it's awesome to hear those stories those people that are recovering and they're feeling a lot better and the doctor said they needed surgery so it can be done certain cases can't certain people have different complications and uh, risk of blood clots etc if they're on different medications so obviously everybody's different but if you can follow those steps you'll feel a lot better you'll get a lot healthier um, and you'll just you'll get more mobility in that that shoulder and you'll be TOS free one day so I hope this helps you just go through my links I'll link some videos here that might help you um, but you can do it and I've got all the different links here of the different things that you can do I'll see you guys soon